Firith. The prosecution will question the witness first. You are Firith me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Do not undermine the witness. Ask the witness your questions and do it promptly. Of course, Your Honor. Yeah, stop Fear being a dick. Me. What did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> a very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. Person and points. Did you actually see the murder happen? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no. But I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Your point is well taken, Arbiter. How could Samir have harmed her? Well, he was moving pretty <coughs> fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't know for sure. Fully capable. Oh, you see, you can hardly work, let alone fight her. Additional questions. Alastra is a dark Jedi, isn't she? Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber. Hello, Mort. Eight percent. I beg. That I object to that. She was a Jedi. This piece of evidence is very important. It establishes the character of Alastra. Um, I'm not going to bother asking that one. No additional questions. Yes. Unsure. No decision yet. Okay. Second witness. Glupor. And we know he planted the medal. We know he planted the medal in, in the victim's hand. Glupor the Rodian. You were oh, I've got a tickle in my throat. The night of the murder and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? Glupor jikin mata Sunri mulira. Kingpun jupa shak Glupor. We will see Sunri running down hallway. This is clear then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Perhaps turn it to the defense. Did you plant the medal? Glupor, Glupor. Don't do it, Glupor. Prosecution will be silent. What is it you wish to say? <laughs> Glupor paid by Sith to plant that medal. Lies. Slander! I object! You are certain of this. Lupo certain. I have no additional questions. Seriously? Elora, surely that was compelling enough evidence. They planted evidence. You, Elora, are Sunri's <clears throat> lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between We're the basically going to have to reveal to her Republic. that he was having an he affair. Was in that war. I think. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. We're going to have to destroy his marriage, unfortunately. <laughs> was it true your husband was having an affair with Elasa? Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. Be, be silent! He's been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He had gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But oh, she did know. So, so yeah. Complicated. It will influence our deliberation considerably. Sunri was a Republic war hero, wasn't he? Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely. And was well, yes, he did indeed ruin his own marriage when he had an affair. Yes, that, that is a fair point. <laughs> or to your Selkath, your honors. <clears throat> but in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most honorable men. The kind of man who earns that medal would not kill her. Yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's, he's also, we know he killed her. <laughs> Do not let a personal opinion sway your judgment of the law. He w I hate using that word. I don't want to use that word. But he was disabled. Could he have killed her? He was a good man. But his injuries pained him terribly. 
but he always held on. Always. Yeah, we know he was having an affair. We I know he killed he her. her <laughs> but we're like still going to get him cleared. I just don't know. Seems unlikely he would choose to do such a thing. Nope. Oh. Oh. I wish Shit. to call forth Sunry himself. So the judges think he did it. <clears throat> Even though we seem to have proved things very well, but never mind. War hero, Mr. Sunry? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Hmm. Well, I think we're Would screwed you here. Did you dislike the Sith? Even. Oh yeah, he did do it. Of course, I hate them. Trying to take <laughs> over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents. Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa on my wife. Yes. On your I life. Realized how wrong I'd been. Oh my. I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, that wasn't what I, he was doing I to her from behind. Clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Do not interrupt the accused. I think you've said enough already, Prosecutor. How could Alassa have got a hold of your medal? I don't know. <clears throat> The metal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. Oh my. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, Your Honor. We already know it was planted. <laughs> Alassa was a Sith spy, wasn't she? Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? You're not helping yourself. You only give reason why you might kill her. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Um, you were going there to end the affair. Would the Sith object? Yes, I think they would. <clears throat> they wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. Well... <laughs> this is a valuable point that did some credence to your defense, Arbiter. Nope. No, damn it. No. Well, <clears throat> I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. I don't know if we can use the Sorry force or not. Was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to You will find him innocent. The simplest, quickest method giving his hatred These aren't the murderers you're looking for. Kill her. Witnesses saw Sunry fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. Okay. Closing statements. No one actually witnessed the murder. Well, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there running from the room. He couldn't have killed her. He was ending the affair, so the Sith killed her. The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. Alassa was a spy. We know! They, they just said he was a spy! My arguments are complete. I think he's going to be found guilty. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. Hello, Patsy. Due to the extenuating circumstances surrounding this case, and not to provoke additional tension, this sentence is commuted to a life term in the city prison. No, your honours. I demand the death penalty. You are in no position to argue, sis. Do not think your empire can pressure this court. We have made our decision. The verdict has been delivered and this trial is now over. Remove the guilty party. Well. <clears throat> Henry. We tried. And it didn't work, so... 
Well, we got some... We got some stuff there. Completed... Was that a completed quest? Yeah. Justice has been served after, after a fashion. <laughs> okay, we're done here. Now, the last thing we need to do is go and talk to... Um... Oh, no, hang on. Where do we find the star map? Wait, have we not got the star map now? Oh, right, there we go. Roland won. Now, where was he? Republic Dick... Oh, he's at the, um... He's at the Republic Embassy, isn't he? So, I think we've got to go... This away. Ah, oh. we tried. I wasn't that fussed if he, you know, he did kill her, so, eh. Not going to lose sleep over that. Let's go, team. We are going to hopefully get the final star map. Uh, let's see. Port official. I think straight to the east, right? I think. 73%. So close. Remember, if anyone gets to 69%er, we are going to have a giveaway of a video game. Now, right, where's the Republic Enclave? Is that where we want to go? Maybe? I'm not actually sure. I have forgotten. Oh my. I have really enjoyed this playthrough. It's um it's cool how your decisions really can have quite the impact. Roland one, here he is. Let's save. Have you managed to retrieve the data from Yes, here it is. Excellent. Woo! It does not appear to have been tampered with. So the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. So and unfilthy. Must try harder. We're not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all Cheesy the mash, options, yum. I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. Evil! You also undoubtedly know we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Mm -hmm. Manon is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, Kolto. Hello, Trisha. Good to see you. Hello, Skip. Good to see you as well. Does anyone fancy a change? I, I kind of fancy a change of background lights. Does anyone want to request uh, a color change through the channel points system? I'm feeling the need for change. Uh, yeah, yeah, get to the point. The Selkath conservatives with their neutrality treaties. Alexa, office purple. Republic equally. This includes okay. Alto exports, but a few more far-sighted nice. self -cath. Thank you. If the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. This is dangerous. I know, but to the senators, it seems to outweigh the risks. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. Oh, we cheeky! Also hope to one day, be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques Very are cheeky. for the task. So we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction. Um, an ancient building or artifact. Possibly your star map. He didn't, from the base he didn't sing it properly. Star map! Um, what's this to, got to do with me then? Please, just let me explain. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries. Right? Indeed. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith. But they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Brackard Rift... Looks like we're going down. ...public soldiers down to investigate. None return. Going so underground. ...mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. Uh -oh. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Brackard Rift station. But now okay. that we have the data back... Our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. What will you do for me? I'm going to get some lunch. Okie dokie. Enjoy. 
I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Okay. I really use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub they're in. We're it going underground. To take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. Excellent. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population I think... of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, so find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. All right. So, is that this? Or is it in the docking bay? I'm not actually sure where we're supposed to go next. Get out of my way. Uh, restricted access. Are we now allowed through here? This must be it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, fancy. Look at this. Let's just check there's no items. Oh, wow. Look at the sub. We shall give you the bongo. Now, go. Uh, these openable nope okay no items at all let's go actually no 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 cancel cancel okay uh use it oh cutscene now down we go are there gonna be some big evil fish there's always a bigger fish Okay. We're in a submarine now. Well, no, it's kind of an underwater base. <laughs> Submersible. <laughs> oh, Brie, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Oh, yeah, I did a load of exercises again. So we're down to 18 now. 18 only. Ha! Oh, feeling good about that. Thank you so much, Bray. That's really kind. Oh, uh, sorry. My... Here we go. Antidote kits. I want free shit. I should definitely be able to sell stuff for my inventory because I'm just hoarding right now and I'm very bad at hoarding. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Everybody's dead, Dave. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good, does it? Hmm. What I haven't done is heal the party. <laughs> almost certainly should do. We didn't kill them all. What are you doing, Dave? How? How did you get in? Oh. Did they send another submersible? You speak English. Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. What happened? No. No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. I have to find a star map. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any map. Just stinking, raking death. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Hmm. Some must have triggered the okay. systems too, because all the droids activated as well. What are they doing? Well, the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. I recognize this voice actor. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. What? Uh, you fought him? They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. Hmm. But hardly any of us made it. Uh, I locked the door behind Has us. Has something driven them crazy, I wonder? Left in the submersible. The sharks. Virus or a gas? Peroxa out there and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the cell calf. Um... Like The guy who plays Neelix. It could be, actually. It, it's, a, it's definitely a similar voice. I'm curious now. I didn't see what his name was, though. It could be, actually. I have to get into the station. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for. Tough. 
I need it open. If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Okay. That's fine. Uh, uh, uh. What I might do is should we should we have I assume we can't change the party now. Well, we'll try it with HK and see how we do. John, it it's good to see you, sir. Hope you are well. Equipment pack. Credits, credits, credits. Thermal detonator. Lovely. That's more like it more. Yeah. Look at the fishies. Oh my. Uh, nothing for you? No? Okay. So what the hell are we going to encounter here? We've got some patrol droids. Attack! It's an off day for you. These things happen. Ethan Phillips does have various credits in Kotor. I think that's I think that was him then. Good good spot, Patty. Good ear. Very impressive. Hello, cat. Good to see you. Ooh, that is a level up. Excellent. Let's get persuade up. Uh, powers. Oh, here we go. Time for some dark powers. Can't use that yet. Universal power. Uh, force push. Force suppression. Uh, fear, horror, insanity. Slow affliction plague. Uh, oh, that might be quite good, actually. Let's get slow. Uh, it's a character in Star Trek Voyager. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes. Um, did he... Was he the one who ran the... Was he the cook? He was the cook, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, there you go. As Platy has just said. Uh, right, well, that, that was fairly good going. Um, I'm going to be methodical with my approach to this area and do it door at a time. Oh, hello. Insane Selkath. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Cancel that. Scratch that. Have a grenade. Do they hurt? No, they seem to be okay, actually. Oh, okay. Not good with names, but you can recognize shit sometimes. It's very good. I'm, I'm very impressed. Shipping box has gone out of fashion now. I've got a tech thing to do it. It's only to display box you see in stores. Interesting. I mean, a lot of places are trying to save, um, reduce packaging. For, uh, you know, environmental purposes. But yeah. Noise. Thank you for the heal. Let's go. Uh, oh, we might want to repair this geezer. Possibly. All for it, just confused. Yeah. No, understandable. Understandable. Uh, now you, can you reactivate? Yep. Boom, off you go. Sweet. I get a lot of XP for doing that. Right, well let's let him go on patrol. Oh, hello. Hello. 
literally <laughs> that's all we needed wow i like it when we can one shot enemies oh yes yes please don't mind if i do uh captain adama no that's um uh battlestar galactica captain janeway was uh star trek voyager she was uh she was pretty cool Hello. Uh, a top of the morning to you there, Mr. D. Biddles. How's it going, buddy? How are you? How are we doing? Are we are we getting hurt much? You have a weekly BSG night on Wednesdays. Nice. I tell you what, I think I want to rewatch Battlestar. Oh, hi there. You like Jamie? Probably should have realized much earlier. You like <laughs> Are you missing a Star Trek conversation during a Star Wars stream? You are. <laughs> um, because uh, one of the voice actors we just encountered uh, was the, we're pretty sure, was the voice actor for Neelix in uh, Voyager. How are you, DB? Have I watched the prequel series? Was it something Blood and Chrome, is it called, or something like that? I haven't watched it, no. Oh, Caprica. Of course it's Caprica. Oh, fuck a duck. Um, how do we get rid of... I don't know if we can get rid of this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Kill the fucking thing. Hang on. Does he have... There you go. Why don't you just use disabled droid, man? Come on. Will you just kill it, please? Come on, Hestia, what are you doing? Why will you not attack it? What's going on? Hestia's not attacking. I don't know what's going on, guys. She will not attack. That's... What the hell? Will you please just fucking kill it? I think we're not far off dead, but hopefully... One more hit, please! I don't know what, why she just wasn't doing anything. That was really odd. Heal time. She looks like a dark elf from a room. Yeah, her skin's getting a bit uh, pale. Boom. There we go. Okay, we are alive. And I'm going to save my game. Sweet dance moves. Yeah. Oh yeah, those dance moves. Vroom vrooms. Can you can recommend a cream? Uh. Force unleashed as well. Oh cool. Computer spike. We're gonna have a boss here. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. What? Why don't you come out? I walk out and bam! Cell cats swarming from Fishy. everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right here in this room. My room. No fishy fishy for me. No fishy fishy. Say, <laughs> Hello, Enki. I lock myself in here. I'm Something fishy is going on. In here. No fishy food for me. 
You want to come out of that room? You feel safe with us. No. Damn it! No, 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 no. That's what Why is our force not working? Lunchy munchy. Only the ones Lunchy that munchy. The part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. What made them insane? Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Fishy! Come out, we'll protect you. No. No, no okay. No. You want to come out? No. Only the... Fine. If you don't come out, I'll just leave you in there. Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Chomp for fishy. And and jump you. and bite and jump and bite. Okay, well. Oh, an environmental suit. Oh, that's concerning. What are we going to need that for? Kate Mulgrew's Flemeth in Dragon Age games. Oh, didn't know she was in those. That's cool. Right. Let's quick save there. Uh, because it's time for a break. We've been live an hour and a half. We're going to have a break.